It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Nate. I'm Sean. And this is Ketchup Packets. Today we are watching a movie. Mm -hmm. Super excited for this. We have a poll winner. It's oh, not yeah. a patron pick. That's right. People, the people have spoken, mm -hmm. and they have chosen Training Day. That's right, Antoine Fuqua's Training Day. I've seen this a bunch. I like this movie a lot. This is one of my favorites. I haven't seen this. I don't even know what it is. I assume it's about a, a cop's first day on the force getting trained and some crazy shit goes down. That's kind of maybe would yeah. be my guess based Accurate. on the, the box art that I saw in, mm -hmm. you know, 2001. Uh, yeah, right. So it's, it might have even been like a blockbuster at that point. Yeah, or something probably. Like that. This movie got a bunch of awards and a bunch of awards nominations, and mm -hmm. it's very cool and very good. I've heard really good things about this movie. I know it's a. <laughs> I know it's a good movie, but the most recent time I watched this, I was slightly embarrassed to realize that there's a bunch of like lingo and phrases in this movie that I adopted when I was younger and watched it, I think, in an attempt to be cooler. <laughs> you know? Like, I didn't even realize yeah. that I'd done that, but I was watching this movie again a couple years ago or something, and I was like, oh, I say a lot of the things that the characters in this movie say. <laughs> so, I don't know what that says about me, but yeah, that's a funny thing with Training Day. Can you so, give me one example that's not a spoiler? Um... Like if you're, if somebody says whatever to something, you can go, yeah, whatever, whatever the fuck ever. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> so that that's, that's that's one that I use. Strangely specific, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, little things that are definitely like it's a line from this movie, and I don't remember, you know, like things like yeah, it, just just stuff like that. The characters have a certain way of speaking, so I don't know. This is a good movie. There's lots of uh, faces that will pop up in here that I mm -hmm. think you might recognize. So yeah, I think we should just dive in unless you have any other predictions. I'm excited to watch it. Um, I want to say maybe this is dealing with some sort of like terrorist threat. Oh yeah? I might be, I might be wrong, but I feel like this guy's first day on the force and then something big happens and they're like responding to that. Okay. That's my only prediction. All right, yeah. gotcha. Okay, well, I'm interested to see your response to how the movie unfolds, and uh, the post discussion should be fun. So yeah, let's dive in to Training Day. This was a poll winner. Check out our Patreon to vote in other polls oh, yes. and stuff. Please do. Like and subscribe. Do you have a lot of exposure to Ethan Hawke? I feel like I do. I recognize his face, but if you were to ask me what else I've seen him in, I wouldn't be able to list it for you. I remember him as like 90s, early 2000s hot guy actor. Sure, much, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir. On your way to roll call? Uh, yeah, I'm on my way out the door right now. Oi. Uh, yes, sir. Patrol ferries go to roll call. We don't go to roll call. Be in the office all day, but who knows? Maybe we'll do some business. We're an aggressive unit. I know, sir. That's why I signed up. And you know, I just want to say thank you for giving me this. All right, all business. Ain't got time for that bullshit. I know it's gonna work out. Yeah. We're an aggressive unit. Feels like. What's that supposed to mean? Last year wouldn't mind not roasting a hot black and white all summer. <laughs> Tell me a story. My story? No, not your story. A story. What the fuck kind of request is you that? You can't keep your mouth shut long enough for me to read my paper. Tell me a story. <laughs> yes, and let him read. Tell me a story right now. Go. Well, there was a DUI stop. A DUI stop? Well, so it was a real car. Boom! <laughs> 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 what the fuck? You never know. That's the point. Go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's a phrase I used to. You never know. That's the point. Beautiful car comes out of sight. Turns out this DUI is on bail for distribution. It's on his way to smoke his ex partner before trial. It's amazing. It is. That you could be out there with a fine bitch for a year. And the most entertaining story that you can come up with to tell me is a drunk stop. Oh my god. <laughs> you know you tap that ass. You put it in the back seat. Bam. Cold X. Look, man, I got a wife. You got a dick. 
to the right of it and to the left of it are pockets, right? In those pockets of money. Look at either one of them, <laughs> pay the bill. God. Alonzo's hard to keep up with. Yes, he's... It's exhausting already. I'll just be like, I don't know, I don't know, man. I think I might just <laughs> skip this whole thing. I don't know if I want this job anymore. So where's the office, back at division? You're in the office, baby. Nice. Ah. <laughs> this is the year this album came out, too. So nice. This is an yeah. absolutely fresh song at this point. It's a good song. Yeah. One of the best albums ever made. Mm hmm. You got today, and today only to show me who and what you're made of. You don't like narcotics? Get the fuck out of my car, go back to the office, get a nice pussy desk job, you know? Chasing bad checks or something. You hear me? I hear you. You see those bike cops outside the yep. window as he was saying that? Mm -hmm. not Unlearn that bullshit they teach you at the academy. You know, don't bring none of that shit in here. Should get you killed out here. I will do anything you want me to do. Roll your window down. Start there. <laughs> so you gotta hear the street. You gotta smell it. You know. You gotta taste that shit. Feel it. Denzel right? Washington won an Oscar yes, for this movie. Know. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> the day you bring your old lady to the office is the day that you don't make it back home. You gotta hide that love deep inside you, you understand? Otherwise these maggots out here on the street, they'll find it, they'll use it against you, and they will chew you up. Yeah. Never wear that wedding ring to work. man. Yeah, the ring it's, is, it's a, is a vulnerability. Serious, yeah. Alright, alright, <laughs> set up his family pretty hard, like right in the beginning. It's like, that's... That's a lot of collateral, man. Mm-hmm. See that hand in hand? Yeah, I saw. I saw. Alright, when's the last time you did a felony stuff? Uh, a couple weeks ago. Good. The Brady Bunch grabbing glass. I'm gonna take the front, you take the back. Stay hmm. off of the rover. Jeez. Reckless driving. Yeah, if I were these guys in this bug, I'd just be like, what the hell is happening? Like, we are getting jacked. Yeah, right. <laughs> You know, anybody can just point a gun and say we're police officers. Mm -hmm. I see you down here again. I'm gonna take your vehicle. I'm gonna make you walk home. I'm gonna let the homeboys up the hill run a train on your girlfriend. You know what a train is, don't you? Huh? They, he is committing so many. If they bring this to court, he's finished. Right? Yeah, they're not recording anything. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, this is pre-cell phone time when you can just, you know. Get your dash cam going or whatever, and yeah, that's um not good policing. That's bad. I don't like that one bit. A good narcotics agent should have narcotics in his butt. What do you even smoke that? Nope, you are. What? I can't do that. Smoke it. Say the test. Just take a hit. Yeah. Looks like a test to me. I wouldn't trust one single word out of this guy's mouth, man. He's your new boss. Dude! Right. If I was a dealer, you'd be dead by now, motherfucker. You turn shit down on the street, and the chief brings your wife a crisply folded flag. What the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, they're narcs, you know? Yeah, I guess. You get the fuck out of my car. Go back to the valley. Rookie. That's another phrase I use for this poop butt ass. Poop butt ass. <laughs> yeah, see, I realize that there's like a lot of yeah. little Alonzo isms that I <laughs> adopted, I think, in an attempt to be cooler. Virgin <laughs> Damn, dude. Man the fuck up. Finish that shit. <laughs> so now he's just gonna be like blitzed for the rest of this. <laughs> I mean, it looked like some nasty weed. Yeah, it did, but I mean, he's a first timer. Or it could just like not work at all. Yeah. It's his first time. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, what now, man? Yeah, I know you got secrets. Everybody got secrets. You know you like to get wet, though. Oh. Butt naked. Ill. Turn. Dust. Yeah, it's, it was, uh... PCP. Laced, yeah. 
Why did you do this to me? Ah, uh, you're an adult, man. Kid. I tell you this more, man. You made a decision, live with your decision. Ugh. And I gotta put a gun to your head. He's insane. <laughs> Dude. Thing is, this guy was a police officer before, right? He was a beat cop or something, right? Presumably. So, like, the assumption if it's his first day on narcotics, like, when was the last time he smoked weed? It's like, dude, I was on beat before this. Like, what do you yeah. think? I heard you had a beat in Vegas. It's a green line on your ass. Nah, no problem. It's all good. The Russians want your head. You know I got your back. I know that. Thank you. The Russians? Here's a joke, boy. Man walks out of his house on his way to work, sees this snail lying on his porch. So he picks it up, shucks it over the roof into the backyard. Snail. He's so fucked up. Rock. How long does <laughs> PCP last? I have no idea. You already figured the street out. Yeah, well, it's, it's all about smiles and cries. You gotta control your smiles and cries. Because that's all you have. And nobody can take that away from you. Oh, boy. This poor guy, his training has involved <laughs> getting you know, one stop yeah. that was way too aggressive, <laughs> super you. illegal, mm -hmm. and then yeah. getting Thank dosed you. and brought to this dude's go. house and getting made fun of. And drinking. That, that, yeah, and drinking. Yeah, dude. What? Getting a gun pointed at his head. <laughs> That's being an arc. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. I'm less than a year away from my dream. Philippine Islands, here I come, and I ain't never coming back. That's right. Let me go with you. You're invited. Ah. God. This is a fucking nightmare. You know, he's going, he's like, I'm just going to try and make a good impression, show him that I know what I'm talking about, you know? And now he's just like... So out of it. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Open your eyes, man. You'll feel a lot better. I feel like when he gets home, his wife will be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, right. <laughs> like he's gonna be so out of it. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 See how he handles himself? <laughs> Jesus, man. Just watching the two on one yeah. smoking a cig. Ouch. It's a good one. I feel like that was like a. You know, like a random encounter in a video game. Yeah. You just see it and then you. Yeah. Decide to go back. One, yep. Thanks for the help. Yeah, you should have shot him. Yeah. Oh, hey. When she says, she says, thank you. And then just runs away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what do you say your cousins from where? From Hillside Threats, and you okay. fucking remember that, Tell too. your cousins to get your back, all right? We're going to cut them loose? Or you going to beat them up? Go get out and protect and serve, brother. I got a <laughs> Huh? Huh? Oh. Yeah. Some high quality law enforcement, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, you know, I'm actually kind of, I'm okay with, I'm okay with it, in, prin in principle, but in, in, I don't like the, that's the reason why we have a system for this, man. As, as a representative of the state, he shouldn't be doing no, this. No, yes, absolutely. I'm gonna leave you free to it, man. <laughs> so what did that solve exactly now? The girl got away. The girl got away this time. <laughs> really? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, that dude learned nothing. You want to run a gun, man? Stay in patrol, okay? This is investigations, all right? Let the garbage men handle the garbage. We're professional anglers, okay? We go after the big fish. To protect the sheep, you got to catch the wolf. And it takes a wolf to catch a wolf, you understand? What the fuck are you talking you about, dude? The sheep by killing the motherfucking wolves. No, you didn't hear me. You listening, but you didn't hear me. Alright, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever the fuck ever. <laughs> see? Isn't he toxic? Cool. <laughs> he sure does. I can see why you'd pick that up and be like, 
That's so cool, man. No, I didn't even like. It wasn't a conscious thing. I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna adopt all these Alonzo phrases now. I just watched this movie a few times, and it was like he. I like the way he speaks. Yep. Need a service warrant. Come on, man. We can't do that. Hell yeah, we can. We the police. We can do the fuck we want to do. Why don't we just get a real one? Listen, we're trying to get shit done. I just stand over there. Yeah, right. He's like, dude, don't you get it yet, dude? <laughs> Police, we got a search warrant. The ends justify the means, always. Is anybody in the house? My nephew Dimitri, he in the bedroom. He's 10 years old. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna clear the house. Check it for weapons. I so never want the cops coming to my house with a warrant. Yeah. Just because they, I know they just they flip the whole place over. They destroy mm -hmm. everything. Punk ass, bitch ass, crooked ass cop. Okay. You a rookie. Give me a break, okay? Give me a break? <laughs> Dude. Dimitri, how you doing over there, huh? You cool? You cool? Come on. <laughs> yeah, fuck no, man. You, we made a mistake. Didn't find a damn thing. I'm very sorry. And, uh, thanks for your cooperation. Let's go. I want to see that goddamn woman. Why is he mad at Jake like Jake was supposed to prevent that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's starting to look like he is actually not a like police officer. <laughs> said that it's like yeah yeah dude they're certainly operating like people who are pretending to be cops yeah it is open season on this kind of they will nail us to the wall oh. 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 just added to the list of illegal right, yeah. shit what the hell yeah he's all he's done is rob people so far <laughs> i'm pretty sure and threatened to blow that dude's nuts off serve a fake warrant like what that's a fair assessment. Is he? Yeah. You gotta decide whether you're a wolf or a sheep. He keeps implying too that if he if he's not comfortable with this shit, then that he's like weak. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like, no, maybe I'm just not fucking crazy like you are. Yeah. But this is the next step on the ladder. What are we doing going in here? <laughs> Be like, I'm in the wrong business, man. <laughs> But when it's your dream you've been yeah. working for, yeah, how no, quickly do you decide that? Yeah, you know? it's almost like how a con man gets a mark, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. find out what they want and tell them, like, look, dude, do you think you know things? You don't know anything. I know everything. Just follow my lead and, like, you'll get where you're trying to go. Yeah, and then anytime yeah. they question you, you'll be like, yep. I guess you don't yeah. want that thing you want badly enough. Yep. LAPD's finest. Don't speak unless you're spoken to. There's a lot of that. I don't understand. I mean, if I'm the rookie, like, I would just be like, there's no way I can ever learn how to be this guy. <laughs> you know, like, how am I supposed to? It's still, gonna be... still just day one, though. Yeah, right? I guess. I heard you had an expensive weekend in Vegas. How did you ever screw up so bad? It's nothing. Forget it. You know, I didn't know. It's not my town. I'm not omniscient. The Russians don't care if you have a badge. The guy's a high security risk anyway. If I'm not around, who's gonna keep him off the radar? You? I'm just tax him, that's all. Okay? I'm struggling with what exactly they're talking about. You're not supposed, supposed to fully to follow about. what they're talking about. No. Okay. So he did Listen, steal that woman's money. Light. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Now get a hold of Jeff. Tell him to pick up some tools, picks and shovels. Make sure he signs him out for maintenance. It seems like That's do right, this huh? on a day when you're not training. That's right. right somebody. I don't know. Right. Gotta see how things are. I guess. But it seems like this is a situation where he fucked up. I guess you gotta figure out how to solve those problems too, but Rookie doesn't know anything, right? No, he doesn't. So. What up, killer? I can't call him. What's up with you? I've been hearing a lot of shit. Oh, who is that? Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. <laughs> Young Dr. Dre. 
I've only seen pictures of him recently. He's, sure, he's older, yeah. yeah. Who the fuck is this? Jay Coy, this is my first day in the unit on Cabali Patrol. I mean, I'm sure I saw pictures of him a long time ago when he looked yeah. like that, but I haven't seen the young picture of him in a long time. Let's suit up, ladies. Time to punch in. Doesn't look like a group of cops. When no, you see it them definitely there. doesn't. No. An elite task force. Extrajudicial cops. Or, you know, criminals. Mm hmm. Do you know what you're doing, son? Drop what's in your hands before zero. Five, four, four three, three, two. Boom. What's going down, brother? Oh, it's all good, baby. Hmm. <laughs> Had lunch with the wise men today. They said you got to render under Caesar. The fucking vampires won my pension. Nah, it's nothing like that. They just want to tax you a little bit. You know, they got their bolts and mistresses and, you know, house payments. Nothing mm. I can do about it, you know? They're making me do it. Oh, it's just business. so crooked all the way down. Bitch. Like the way Roger said to him, do you know what you're doing, son? <laughs> right here. Am I going to put on hearing protection before you do no. the chainsaw? These guys don't seem like the protection types. I guess. So when they say they're gonna tax him, so he's a the guy whose house they're in. He's a he's a criminal, right? Yes. And they're like, we're not we're not gonna bust you, but we need a cut. It's mafia shit, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seems like he's probably a criminal who feeds them people below him when he's done with them for whatever reason. To yeah. Keep his own operation safe and so they can get a steady supply of arrests and convictions. I see. Okay. I mean, I'm inferring that. Yeah, sure. But yeah, he's definitely an armchair criminal versus an on-the-street criminal. Matt, you don't want a piece of this? Huh? But... No. Right? Yes! I like this. I mean, no. Turn down what he just he said earlier. Yeah, don't turn down drugs on the street, man. Mm -hmm. Get yourself whacked. Okay. What about you? You comfortable? Oh, I'm comfortable. <laughs> How's your comfort level? I'm very comfortable. <laughs> Come on, let's wrap this up. I think that's a good analogy, though. Too. Yeah. yeah, don't yeah. turn down drugs in front of crooks. Don't turn down the cash mm -hmm. in front of cops. Could put you out of your misery. <laughs> hey, Jake, yeah. <laughs> Hey, come sit down. Sit down. <sighs> when you kill someone on duty, they have to be a slave in the afterlife. <laughs> Start an entourage. <laughs> I would just be like, every time this guy opened his mouth and told me to do something, I'd just be like, okay, just do it. At this point, <laughs> you're just like, you want a slice of that cash? Yes. You want a hit of this shit? Sure. Because you'd Shoot be afraid of him? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, it's more like... Every time you turn him down and just be like, no, right? This is a yeah. test. He's like, no, it's not a test, dude. You gotta fucking pull the trigger right now. Make it, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Go. I told these guys you were cool. Pow! Oh! <laughs> Shoot him. Yeah. He wasn't joking, dude. You're not gonna shoot him. Yeah, you want to get shit done, you got to get it done yourself. Holy shit! Yeah. What did you think, dude? Oh. Let it go. Shotgun, man. That is brutal. Me, dog. Okay, whoa, 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 okay? Lots of shades. All right. Look at me. Okay. All right, you ready? Kiss me, baby. One. Oh! You all right? Yeah. All right, I got to give you one more, though. Oh, shit. Okay, here's a scenario. Mark and Paul, you kick the door. Jeff's the first one through. Roger opens fire, hits Jeff twice, right? No matter, wanna go through? Shit. Yeah, man, you shot him. You fucking shot me, man. All right, all right, you'll get a medal. Don't worry about it. Who shot Roger? 
New guy came in spraying. Paul. Boot shot him. What'd you guys see? White blaster. Yeah, fuck Hoy, okay? Ambulance time. Done. Paul, <laughs> He's like, let's get through the plan and call the ambulance. Congratulations, son. You're gonna get a medal of valor for this. Oh, oh God, that would fuck with me so bad. You did. Every time you look at that medal, you're just like. Spike, dude. It's all bad. Department narcotics officer was killed today, serving a high-risk warrant in Echo Park. Give me the bitch. You get the picture. Yeah, I got the picture. Hey, that is the second time you pointed a gun at me. There will not be a third. Ah, damn, boy. That's what I'm talking about, Jake. My nigga. Pull the trigger. Watching this. <laughs> That's it. It'll be my pleasure to put a hydro shock in that hey, melon. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. No, but I'm gonna be cool. Drop the fucking gun. Man. Yeah, there is sort of a quit pointing guns at me, dude. Mm -hmm. You can't pull this shit on me, man. I didn't sign up for this. Okay, okay, I know you're angry. Everybody. Yeah, dude. Put your guns down. Right. Why did you bring me here? Sometimes we gotta take this shit all away. It's not like we do this every day, alright? It's just the nature of the business. Just the nature of the business. No one will. We make the big seizures, Jake. We make the big arrests. But if you're in my unit, you gotta be in it all the way or not at all. You understand me? I mean, I thought you were man enough to handle this shit. I guess I was wrong. This guy's got to go. The investigators are going to want to pull a tube of your blood to check for intoxicants. What are they going to find, Jake? Do the math. You've been smoking PCP all day, haven't you? Huh? Remember? You've been planning this all day? I've been planning it all week, son. You talk that God. crazy shit. If you're cool, you're a hero. You're a virgin shooter above suspicion. Exactly, yeah, he's an unimpeachable... Yeah. Trigger man, you know? Yep. The rookie dude. Not connected to the victim. Mm -hmm. Go outside. Clear your head. Or shoot me. He's got a lot of impulses telling him to shoot Alonzo and yeah, he's having absolutely. to reason himself out of it. Yeah. Very difficult time not pulling that trigger, honestly. <laughs> Dude's a massive piece of shit. Hey, Paul. This... <laughs> this movie would make a good video game, actually. Just the amount of, like, either-or decisions that you have to kind of sure, make, you know, yeah. you're sitting there being like, you know, it's like, what are you gonna do? Telltale Games, yeah. training day. Yeah, right. And he looks like he's he's playing the part here for the blue suits, too, because, mm -hmm. you know, they're gonna, he, he just shot a guy, you know? Exactly. He's just a little rattled. But they'll all be telling him, nice job, you yep, know? Like, yep. that's how they go. Am I all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Justifiable homicide in line of duty, okay? Now, what happened was, what happened was murder and arm robbery. Yeah. Yep. Hey, this man was the biggest major violator in Los Angeles. He had all that I evidence. I that cocksucker operate with impunity for over 10 years, and now I got it. Book him. The shit's chess, it ain't checkers. If he knew that for sure, and he could prove it, he could have just put him in prison. Right. Seized all that money. I mean, he's justifying his shit being like, we're the good guys, they're exactly. the bad guys. But like, he deserves it, is yeah. what he thinks, yeah. The cuffs on him, you're under arrest. That's a high roller, dog. And he's got so much money that he can also shake something like that, too. You that's know? true. I mean, maybe. But yeah, it seems like also... But that's like, Alonzo's philosophy. Yeah. I became a cop to put away drug dealers, the poisoners, the criminals, not to be one. Sorry, dude. No, no, no. You're a psychopath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Play the game. You grow wise, and then you can change things. But you gotta change them from the inside, son. <sighs> and that's how the institution yeah. just rolls on as is. Yep. This is a a common abuse tactic mm -hmm. to like severely traumatize somebody and then like be their solace afterward and just be like, look, oh, dude, I know that was rough. You know, it's like, no, you did this to me. Exactly. Yeah. I was pointing the shotgun at you because you are an evil monster and now you're trying to tell me it's all going to be okay. Like, I know that was wrong, but you're telling me it's okay. And I would really like to believe that now because I'm implicated. <laughs> and when I wasn't down with it right as it happened, you threatened my life. Right, you know, exactly. Like the whole reason he was pointing the shotgun at Alonzo is because he took it from him and turned yep. it around. Yep. So those boxes are full of money or something, right? Most assuredly. It's not a... What is it, a blender box or something? Yeah, no, it's a blender. And hey, that's nice. Let me get the CD player, eh? You got the blender. 
CD player smart. It is a blender. Dreamer. Yeah, that's also money inside. Oh, there's money inside the blender. So with the mustache here, that's Cliff Curtis from Sunshine and Fear the oh, Walking Dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. You calling me a And that's Tuco. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, you want a beer or something to drink? Have a cold one. Yes, dude. It's time to start saying, yes, yeah, sure, I'll take one. Thank you. Cards? Yeah, let's go. You're gone, Holmes. I'm underneath your shirt. I'm serious. Come on, SA ain't gonna shoot nobody. Heck, <laughs> you know? Come on. Let me check it out. Eh? No. This is nice, Holmes. Nice right here. Fuck about to up with this, huh? You know? Hell uh, yeah, Holmes. Yeah, right, I gotta go. Yo, Alonzo! Hey, white boy. I think Alonzo played you for a fool, SA. Big time, Holmes. Oh man. Hey, where you going? Where you going? Huh? What the money in the blender is for. Oh shit. Alonzo. Pulled off a miracle, eh? Times are tight. It's gonna up a lot of cash. What are you jack I don't know. I'm just trying yeah, not to be afraid, I guess. I mean, look, if they're gonna kill me, they're gonna kill me at this point, right? Last week in Vegas. Some Russian starts talking shit. Alonzo, he just Turns out they're Russian. He's a somebody. Now, Alonzo, he's into the Russians for a million. If he don't turn up downtown with the cash by midnight and not a minute after, he's dead. Hey, Why you spill all this? I mean, I guess he's dead already, right? Exactly. Ooh. Is that just gonna go down at least? You gonna get the fuck out of here. Ouch. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm sure guys like this would get a certain satisfaction out of getting fed a cop to kill, too. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Mr. Smart. How the best spot. terrifying is that oh, moment, I mean, though? This whole thing, the moment that you realize that they got the bullets and that, yeah. Yeah, he's, and that he's alone there, it's... I'd be like, I'd be crying, <laughs> terrified. Although the adrenaline, you just yeah, just like keep trying to pretend yep. nothing's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Smiley, you gonna trip out? Is that your little cousin or what? Eh? Where'd you get this? Oh fuck! I found it! I, I don't I, give it to you. I found it! No, just tell her. This is the truth time. I saw these two fucking drug addicts attacking her, and I stopped them, man. I swear to God, I stopped them. Light. And I stopped them. I please, man. Oh, fuck. I have a little girl. Do it. Don't get to the bottom of your bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Give her a call. Mm hmm. Civilian. Come stalk you today? No. Come on, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, teenager just trying to deny doing anything. Um, alright, I I got jumped by these two crackheads today. You got jumped, huh? Well, this cop came. I mean, he came out of nowhere and they almost killed him, though, but he kicked their asses like that. This cop, what did he look like? Um, he was a white boy. He looked real young, too. That's all they need. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna talk more about this later. Okay. Alright. What's up? What happened? Ain't gonna blast him or what? No, oh, fuck yeah. It's like he's like, oh, we got paid to do it, but. Thanks for getting my cousins back here. Yeah, yeah I, I, um, if I'm him, I, I, I totally soiled my Yeah, you got shit in your pants for sure. <laughs> yeah. So as a viewer, you're like, okay, so Alonzo wasn't persuaded when he had that conversation with Hoyt about, like, he just gotta get on board. He's mm -hmm. like, okay, I didn't buy it. So he didn't, I didn't convince him, so I gotta bring him over, right? Right. Before yeah. Before they had that conversation, Alonzo's on the phone, and you hear him say, just make sure that bathtub is clean. So. Oh, shit. Before the whole conversation, he set that up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, 
I think this is from before Terry Crews was really an actor much. Yeah. It was from back when he worked security say. in Hollywood a lot. And I think that's how he oh. got that role. Oh, okay. and he just, like, that's how he got into acting initially. Keep your hands where I can see them. Once you put that money in that bag, take your weapons and place them inside that pillowcase right there. Just shoot him. Congratulations, son. You made it. No, let him talk. You can fuck your appointment with the Russians. You're not going to make it. Hmm. Okay. You're the one that was smoking the dust, Jake. You're the one that ran out like a maniac, and you're the one that shot Roger. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. Yeah. It's a good point from a police perspective. What can yeah. you prove, huh? Nothing. Where's your evidence, huh? It's right there. Mm. Oh, shit. <gasps> He's got a crazy <laughs> under-the-bed shotgun? That's yeah. fucking awesome! It came in handy. Yeah. <laughs> He's waiting forever to use that. Mm-hmm. You see what I see, Jake? There's my son. Don't hurt him. He's using the- oh, man, using the kid as a shield. I hate that shit so much. Yeah. Yeah, Alonzo's not the one who just wants to shoot him to stop. You yeah. know? He's gonna get Jake no matter what it takes. Where is he? I'm down that the window. Come on, come on, come on. You can't see him. <laughs> she just wants yeah. her son. Yep. Yeah. Go outside and do this, I don't care. Scary dog. Yeah, oh man. Spiky fence. Scary dog. Ouch. Where did he come from? Waiting there. Ouch. Oh. Come on, man. Yeah, all pretense is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, this is, uh, I mean, they'll mess you right up. Yeah. You hit in the you... back like that and then you get your head smashed, like, you... Pissed him off now, yeah. too. There's no way he wins this fight now. There's gotta be some, some other, like, way that he, I mean, he's totally dazed. There's no way you come back from that. I mean, I know it's a movie fight, and he might just pop back up, but they, they've been pretty consistent with, like, how much... Yeah, it's been... Injury is caused by... Right, yeah. Pretty good level of realism. Yeah. Why didn't he finish it? Because he's got a deadline to meet. That's true. Yeah, I guess it's like, I literally don't have time to shoot you, man. All of his guns and stuff are in a pillowcase. Like a slasher movie villain? Yeah. Dude. It'd be incredibly scary, too, to be hanging onto a front <laughs> yeah. of the car. Just trying to throw you yeah. off while the driver tries to shoot you. Yeah. But also, if he messes up his car too bad, he won't be able to get there. That's true. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Too many fucking car crashes, too. Mm-hmm. Kill him. Kill him. A lot of people around. First time who puts one in his hand, I make you a rich man. Come on now. Yeah, they all get real sick of his shit. We want to get paid. Yeah, they all hate his guts, huh? Mm -hmm. But they just. They're under his they, thumb. Yep. You ain't never killed nobody before, have you? It ain't like stepping on ants, see? Takes a man to kill. No. Get me right there. That hasn't been true since we invented guns. Yep. Yeah. Get me. Right. <laughs> Get me. Hit me. Hit me. You can't do it. Well, there's people behind you, dude. Somebody drop this fool for me. You got us twisted, homie. You gotta put your own work in around here. I'm gonna get that gun. And then I'm gonna get that money. And you ain't gonna do a damn thing. 
Because you ain't going to shoot no cop in the back, are you? You know what the gas chamber smells like? Fine oil. That's where you headed, boy. <laughs> Fine oil heaven. I'm gonna get really? That Is that true? And then I'm going to get that money. What I'm difference does it make what it smells like? Right. <laughs> I'm going to go get it right now. Oh, get it! Ah, you mother... <laughs> will kill you. Oh, son of a bitch. I love how funny yeah. that is. <laughs> yeah. You shot me in the ass. <laughs> wait, 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 I need the money. Give me the money, Jake. Me He's not not very persuasive. Not very persuasive. No. It's just not. He just uses power. Yeah. That's right. Come on, Jake. You don't deserve this. Jake, go ahead and bounce on me. Get up out of here. We got your back. Disloyal, fool-ass, bitch-made punk. Jake! I need my money! There's a famous line coming up. I'm curious if you've Jay, heard it once he says it. You think you can do this to me? <laughs> you motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay! The impotent what rage is pretty do? satisfying. It's like, you know... You program, nigga. He's used to just having shit on everybody and dangling like things over people's heads. I'm the man yep. up in this face. Can't do it anymore. Yeah. Go and walk away, cause I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down. King Kong ain't got shit on me! <laughs> is that it? Is that it? Yes. <laughs> Famous line, right? Did yeah. you even know that this is the movie that's from? No, I didn't. <laughs> shit, you can shoot me. But you can't kill me. <laughs> yeah, he's still got a bullet in his ass. <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> what a motherfucking day. What a performance from yeah, Denzel dude. Washington. Incredible, like, man. Yeah. Just as electric every time you see it as the first time you watched it. It's just so amazing what he did here. Ethan Hawke was nominated as well, but didn't win. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're both, both incredible. Mm -hmm. Ethan Hawke was nominated for supporting actor, so they both yeah. could have won, because right, Denzel was yeah. nominated for lead, I think. Russians. Yep. Damn. I think he's dead. A Los Angeles Police Department narcotics officer was killed today, serving a high-risk warrant near LAX. An LAPD spokesperson said Officer Alonzo Harris was survived by his wife and four sons. <laughs> <laughs> nice little turnabout with that, huh? Wow. What a day, Holy huh? shit. Oh, written by David Ayer. I didn't even know that. Who's that? More recently made... Suicide Squad. The, the bad one. The bad one? Yeah. Really? And made Fury, the tank movie, before that. Which is like a movie about a tank unit in a war. Got it. Doing tank stuff? Yeah. I just didn't know that he was connected to this. That's interesting. Um, training Day. Holy shit. In 2001. That was, that was really good. I feel like uh, it's the kind of movie that I I might need to like watch again to catch all the like little subtleties about it. Yeah, it's so obvious how like what's going on and how horrible Alonzo is right from the jump. Once you know, you know, yeah. but like the movie keeps you in Jake's perspective where you're like. Kind of just like, okay, well, I yeah, guess I, mean, I gotta knows, go along with yeah. this, and he knows more than me, so just listen to his wisdom, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's... And the, it's like, right off the jump, you're like, this dude's an asshole, but he's making some kind of point. Right. And then it turns out he's not. He's really not, no, yeah. yeah. You seem to perceive right from the beginning that the things he was doing were just crimes, and you were yeah. like, hey, well, all he's done so far is rob people. I was like, yeah, that's a good yeah. observation, mm -hmm. that is all he's done. And... I mean, what we learned by the end here is that he was just in extremely hot water and was spending the whole day trying to get, you know, mm -hmm. formulating his plan to get out of the hot water. Right. You know, this was... Training Jake was not on his plate at all for today. He was like, mm -hmm. I've got this assignment with this trainee and is, uh, it's for today, so okay, we're going to use him to rob the guy. And yeah, you know, right, yeah. I'll, I'll all just his him crimes. into this and then make it his fault. So, or like, you know, 
Like, throw him under the bus at the end. Like, I don't right. really... Know. I don't think that he had an actually planned to have him killed until he was so not on board with everything, you know? Until yeah. Until he was incorruptible, you know? He hands back a quarter million dollars in cash. And yeah. they're like, okay, then this is not going to work like I thought it would. Well, also, know? like, Jake's presence, like, wasn't necessary Yeah. for the whole plan to go off, you know? Like, he... I, he he could have made all those stops by himself, and then he had his other crew... To like do the heist. Yeah, part. but he needed somebody unimpeachable to shoot Roger. I think was the deal. He wanted somebody who didn't have a pre-existing relationship with Roger, the criminal. You know, like so it wouldn't be. Did looked all into. of Did all of his guys have some kind of pre-existing? I mean, his whole strike team did. You know. Okay. I yeah. That. So they just. So I used that expression "strike team" there. This movie was based on the actions of a real Los Angeles unit. Okay. At, uh, the Rampart unit, you know, like have you heard that mm. that word? You know, I haven't like, heard heard that word. I, but I don't know what it means. I think that I think it was just like a word that was involved somehow in like the code name for this team or whatever like that. But there is a uh, popular TV show that was based on the same cops called The Shield. I don't know if you're oh, familiar with that. Okay. But yeah, it is just about a very crooked group of police who are basically just the most powerful criminal gang. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's and Michael Chiklis plays the character in that show. So it's like a, you know, a white guy playing. So I don't know what the real man was yeah, actually like, right. but it's this apparently the same like cop that Michael Chiklis is representing in the Shield is the guy that Denzel was representing in this. Movie. Well, is there is the thing with the Russians? Is that no? I true? think that's just that's part of this movie. Of, I think yeah. just the way that the that their squad of police operates is based mm -hmm. on that real division in Los Angeles that was just like. Doing everything the way the gangs do it, but they mm -hmm. had the pr protection of the, the state behind yeah, them. Yeah, they have the badge, so mm -hmm. and so they get to justify their violence and their their super corrupt bullshit by saying like, "Look, this is just how it has to be. This is how how things are done." You know, right? And then and I could see a young idealistic cop like that just getting so frustrated by running up against roadblock after roadblock mm -hmm. and trying to just stop the bad people from doing bad things that you're like, okay, well, I'm going to move into their rule set then because they, it seems to get results, you know? And yeah. And like, I am not trying to justify that in any way, no, but I'm no, saying but I think this movie does a little bit of a good job of showing you how that could have happened to a man, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I feel like it would have been a, a, a very different movie or I guess Jake's character would have been so different if like we had seen something where he you know he was like I need like I need this like this warrant and it, it wasn't granted because he didn't have enough blah and then like it turns out that someone dies because of it and he's exactly. like I could have prevented this but and, there wasn't even time for any of that no, kind of shit in no, this they story just jumped this was right all in, just one yeah. day yeah and it wasn't really about that I mean it that's what the movie was about until you realize what Denzel Washington's actually up to, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's a kind of about this. I'm, I'm going along the story thinking like, okay, so this character is learning the hard way about like what it actually takes to take down like, you know, the the high level narcotics, exactly. like criminals and stuff. And it's like, no, it was never even about that in the first right. place. It's the the final wild. boss yeah. is the cop himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I do think there's some, you know, I keep saying that this would make a good video. I just like the, the, the choices that Jake makes mm -hmm. all, all affect how he's perceived by the other guys, you know? And, like, yeah. uh, it's, like, there's always sort of, like, a, like, do you take it or don't you? Do you stop to save the woman or don't you, you know? Like, and, like, it's interest It's cool that, like, the first actual, like, piece of agency that Jake even takes in the movie where he's not just kind of going along with it is when he tells him to stop the car, stop the car, stop the car to save that girl. Exactly. And, and then that, that ties right in like later on. Him out at the end. It's true. The no, end. you're right. That could have been a good game structure. Well, yeah. Like, yeah, the game ends in the bathtub if you don't save the girl. Right, right. Sure. I get you know, it. And say, if yeah. you don't go against what Denzel's saying and insist that he stop the car, you know, he's like, nah, man, it's like, you know, right. I mean, I, I think just Jake gets out of the car before it's even fully stopped. Yeah, you know? like yeah, you just right. go back and save those, that, save that girl. Yeah, it's interesting. You'd have to. I was thinking about that when you said like a you know choose corruption mm. or purity training day style video game. You could definitely you had to build in a kind of thing where there's like a a sort of grindy task somewhere in the game somehow that is like kind of a pain in the ass to do, mm -hmm. and you'd have to make it so that making the corrupt choice would get you out of the grindy task. Right, you know? yeah, like, yeah. So you have to do that more, and it's a pain in the ass, but it's making the, you know, you're not being corrupted. So yeah, get, yeah, like, there would the, have to there'd be. have to be like an incentive for the player to want to choose the bad thing, you know? You'd have to build that in somehow. I yeah, think. The, the, the real life grindy task is 
red red tape and bureaucracy. And like, watching things. the bad guys get away sometimes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah what a pain Which in the is... ass. Yeah, this movie was wild, man. It's I I really, really liked it, but I also am like I still feel like I'm kinda catching up to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's a lot that happened and there was a lot of S small intricacies that I feel like you know obviously just like any movie like this where it's like the twist kind of happens like part mm -hmm. way through it's like I bet you there's a bunch of stuff that I'd pick up watching this again yeah and I do I feel good about having my first instinct to be like no Denzel Washington is actually a piece of shit exactly he's never yeah. gonna yeah he's never I, gonna I was proud Google of you thing. because a lot of people <laughs> I mean I feel like the movies sort of turn moment to make you no longer able to explain away what's happening is when he kills Roger, you know? It's yeah. Like, uh, until mm -hmm. that moment, you're able to be like, I guess we're just learning how it all operates and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So before we went into it, I was curious, is Nate going to turn on Alonzo before he kills Roger or at that time? And so I was glad to see that even before that, you were like, no, they're criminals and this is yeah, crime. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> I, I was actually thinking, you know, like the first thing they did is pull over a couple of college kids who just picked up some weed mm -hmm. and they did it really aggressively and really intensely and I was like I thought this guy was supposed to be all about serious business and catching like the high level whatever you know but he's like, having fun being intimidating clearly. right he's That's just, part he's of just it as being well. a piece yeah. of shit there was cop, no need to you know? threaten those kids and no. threaten the girl with sexual assault and stuff like that yeah that was I mean, yeah no yeah, yeah that's horrible all that's just horrible being shit. sadistic yeah in the in the in the days of smartphones where if there was a recording of that his badge would be gone like there would be no or hopefully well, that even at this time that was one of the things jake was complaining about he says it's open season on misconduct they will nail us to the wall you know like he was concerned about that even at that time but there's just so much impunity with what they were yeah i guess yeah yeah it, if they had a recording and they could put it on social those kids could put it on social media mm -hmm. uh, that would change that has changed how this stuff is actually being addressed because like that kind of stuff does happen all the time oh definitely the minneapolis police department just <laughs> got a huge inquiry and we found There's out some a, very, a doj report yes, yes on very, our, our hometown minneapolis police yes wonderful <laughs> we are working on it <laughs> it's not <sighs> good though but you know it's it's um it's interesting to see that kind of stuff depicted in a time period like before cell phones. Yeah, like, I mean there was there had, were cell phones, but, but not yeah. camera phones. Only yeah, the rich drug an dealer camera. had a cell phone, and the cops had a cell had cell phones. It wasn't a whole lot of like like you wouldn't think those college students would just like. There's still they there's might still have a little Nokia brick, you know. It's yeah. 2001. They'd right. have a they have something to make calls on, but it definitely high, can't take photos of any kind. Yeah. There's no camera. High on quality it. like audio recordings of the cops. It's got the, it's green, green and black pixel and, screen that you can play brick yeah. on. You know, yeah, yeah, that's you, it. Yep, you can play Snake. Yep, exactly. Good stuff. Those phones were indestructible though. It's too they bad were. the new phones break so easily. Yeah, well then you'll buy another one. Yeah, it's a racket to sell you <laughs> cases too. Yeah. Expensive cases. Everything's a racket. <laughs> um. What else? Anything else about oh, Training man. Day? Yeah, it's a wild one. You got to catch up to it. It's true. Yeah, I, and I feel like, yeah, I, I got one more thing I could say. It was cool how they had him what meet with the the wise the men. wise men. Yeah, because you also got a little look into like, okay, so this is maybe like the bureaucracy that Jake has been dealing with. It's like these guys are all super crooked too. Yeah, I, I mean, I also see that sort of as showing us a glimpse of the people Alonzo does answer to because the whole movie, he's somebody who doesn't answer anybody, you know? Yeah. He said, we're the police, we can do what the fuck we want to do, you know? But it's like, here's an example of, and they're crooked as well. The judge casually talked about yep. finding a guy who got away and killing him. Yeah, so right, right, right. They're definitely not nice or good people, but they Alonzo does answer to somebody, you know? There's still a chain of command even in that mm -hmm. realm, you know? And I feel like that's that scene was almost a it was it was cool to see him he changed his demeanor it, the performance was so good because yeah. his his like you know all of a sudden he's like wait why are we not la like why are we not laughing like he's, he's, the, yeah, he's, he's the one he's he looks like the rookie right though. he said the judge yeah. oh smart lady and they all laughed and he's like no what no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah he's really wanting their approval mm -hmm. yeah it was a total demeanor shift from the rest of the movie it's true but it was almost there to like sort of justify alonzo's like conduct for the audience a little bit to just be like yeah this is the world that he's living in mm -hmm. too so like well and it, it also shows he didn't get this way on his own you know yeah, it's like there's yeah. a whole rot that he has he's party to at this point he's you know? not a singular villain rot. yeah exactly. there's others like him in other like levels of this city you mm -hmm. know well la is 
rough too, you know. Right, but he's he's not the lone intersection of cop and criminal. You right, know? Like exactly. What they were showing us is there's a lot of overlap. It, yeah. You know, there's a lot of people who seem to dabble in both sides of that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And it's the it's the playing with the idea of the the thin blue line of like what is right and what is legal or like whatever that whole thing and like what is what what is moral and what is just or those all that stuff and then just being like no actually he's just trying to save his own ass and he's about exactly. to get the rookie yep. murdered in like a house <laughs> like, stealing from a guy who he knows has the money yeah <laughs> right that's it it's very that was very good i will definitely be watching that again some some other time and just being it i will I, it, it will be satisfying to know the ending before him, Yes, to know that Alonzo gets lit up mm -hmm. is nice to know as you watch the rest of that movie while he's being horrible. Yeah, so for sure. Yeah. Thanks for watching with us, everybody. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Um, we'll catch you next time. Check out our, our other videos if you like. Check out the Patreon if you want to make us watch something. Uh, we love it. Love you guys. See you later. I'm Nate. I'm Sean. Catch up packets.